Garlic is one of the most beloved crops around the world, and surprisingly, it can be easy to grow at home too. There's a lot of questions and controversy around garlic, but I wanna help you navigate through some of these questions and give you literally everything that you need to know about garlic in today's video. Stick around to the end, and I'll give you my top mistakes that most first-time gardeners growing garlic make. You're in the garden, growing garlic with Patrick. Most people think that California is the garlic capital of the world, but in fact, it's China. China produces 72% of the garlic in the world. Most garlic grown in the US comes from California and Oregon. Here's an interesting fact. In 2022, the US ranked ninth of all garlic producers around the world. Most store-bought garlic is of the soft neck variety. And soft neck usually comes from China and that's been treated to prevent sprouting. But what's so bad about Chinese garlic, you might ask? China's growth practices are well documented. These practices include such offenses as fertilizing the garlic and growing garlic in sewage and bleaching the garlic to make it appear whiter and cleaner to the eye. But how do you know if your garlic is from China? You can tell the difference by looking at the bottom. If the roots are all removed, leaving a concave clean spot, it's Chinese. You can see here that the roots are stripped off. All garlic entering the U.S. is required by the Agricultural Department to prevent soil born plant diseases from entering our country. So if the roots are still there, as shown here, it is most likely a U.S. garlic. The U.S. Garlic Growers Association says not one single U.S. grower cleans out the root end. I found this Spice World organic garlic at a local grocery store. On their website, Spice World Garlic says their garlic is grown without the use of synthetic pesticides, herbicides, or fertilizers, which makes a healthier choice for both you and the environment. They are also non-GMO and not treated with irradiation or other chemical treatments. So take a look here. It even says here that it's USA packaging and there are roots on the bottom. So most likely this is a US garlic. If you can, buy only certified organic garlic and choose the largest bulbs so that you can see here the differences in the sizes of these bulbs. There are many different varieties of garlic, but really they break down into two major categories, hard neck and soft neck. You want to plant the right variety for your area, but how do you know what type of garlic to grow in your area? What zone are you in? Well, I'll put a link below and you can check that out and find out what zone or growing zone that you're in. So you'll want to plant the right variety for your area. The main difference between the hard and the soft neck garlic is how cold your winters get. Hard neck garlic usually needs an extended period of cold to form the cloves. So the colder the zone, the better your hard neck garlic will perform. Soft neck garlic, on the other hand, doesn't really need the same requirements and can be grown actually in a warmer zones. Garlic needs about 40 days at about 40 degrees Fahrenheit to properly mature. Hard neck, they will grow in a colder climates, but the garlic cloves grow around a woody central stem and they typically grow larger cloves, but not as many per bulb. So if you compare that to the soft neck variety, there's not as many. And usually they peel better, but they will produce a central stem and escape also. They can be harvested and you can actually use the scapes in cooking. Hard neck garlic usually does not store as long as soft neck varieties. Soft neck garlic usually grows best in climates with hot summers and mild winters, like the ones here in El Paso where I live. Unlike hard neck garlic, soft neck garlic does not produce a central stem or that scape that we talked about. It produces more but smaller cloves and has a very mild taste. When it comes to storage, soft neck garlic is cured, if it's cured properly, can be braided and last up to a year. For soft neck garlic, you will want to plant 
in the fall and when you live in zones eight and above. Now you can plant the hard neck variety in a warmer zone, but you'll need to put a, it into the refrigerator and allow it to that cooler period that we talked about for um, everything to develop properly, as I mentioned. Um, and this is usually six to eight weeks and you don't want to put them in the freezer though because you're going to kill the garlics. This is a soft neck garlic and this is typically the variety that you'll find in most of the grocery stores but you see here it does have the roots. Hard neck flavor profile is much better but if you really should only plant hard neck if you live in the colder climate and it would just won't it's not going to grow as well in my zone so I don't usually plant those. All right, so now let's talk about planting. Garlic likes full sun, so plant in a sunny location. Garlic also loves nice, loose, well-drained soil. It also loves a healthy dose of compost. And when you plant garlic, it really depends on the area that you live in. Um, so you can check the chart that I put in the link below on what growing your zone you're in. And when you plant your garlic, depends on that zone. Now we know that garlic needs that cold period of time to grow, but you want to plant it just before the coldest part of your winter, which is usually a few weeks before your first frost or your first freeze. So the timing is important because that way it experiences that cold spell, develops its root system over the winter, and then it'll sprout up and grow in the spring. In my area here in El Paso, zone eight, I usually plant in late October. So how do we plant the garlic? Well, first you're gonna pop out the cloves from the bulb, okay? What you're gonna do, you're gonna wanna plant the largest cloves that you can find, and this will result in the largest bulbs when you develop them and grow them in the garden. So you'll find in this bulb here, a lot of large cloves and then as you get in closer to the center these uh, cloves will get a little bit smaller so you want to make sure that you uh, you can use those cloves uh, for cooking or any of that kind of thing but you want to plant the largest clove is so I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and prepare your garlic basically you're just gonna take your cloves here and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna kind of separate those and you just see they kind of come apart okay so what you're gonna do is once you separate your cloves from your main garlic head you're gonna see different sizes okay so you can see here this is a, a larger size and then this is a little bit smaller size this size here is something that you're gonna put in your gar uh, in your uh, cooking you don't want to uh, put this in your garden you want to only use the largest cloves that you can and once you take once you find the largest clove uh, and again we're gonna plant several of these in our garden today but basically what you're gonna do is you the planting orientation is very simple as you can see here you got a flat end and then you got the pointy end a flat end and the pointy end and that is basically how the garlic is going to grow you have the flat end here and then the garlic is going to grow straight up so when you plant make sure that you're planting in that direction okay now the planting depth is very varies based on your region but for the most part it's going to be four to six inches depth and again you can do that however you want to um, my finger width is about three inches here so I'm going to go down a little bit lower than that my finger width and I'm going to put my garlic right in that spot so you're going to take that have your garlic in this position here with the pointy side up I'm going to put that about four inches down cover that up and that's how simple it is to do and plant garlic now I am using a square foot method okay and you can plant uh, four of your garlic plants in this one little square foot so the spacing generally is four to six inches again four to six inches deep and and about four to six inches uh, from each other so you're going to plant your next garlic clove here about four inches down I'm going to take that take that pointy side up put that right in here and we're just going to cover that up and that's it now once we plant all our garlic here then what we want to do is we want to cover that with a mulch 
first. You can put some compost on there too. Um, that might also help because uh, that will kind of, remember this is a, a nine month growing period. So that uh, compost will kind of decompose and give those um, garlic cloves some good nutrition. But more importantly, you want to keep this from freezing. So that's where you're going to add your mulch. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of my homemade compost here. Just put a nice little layer here. Not a whole lot, but I am going to put a nice layer of that over my garlic that I just planted. Then, as you've seen in a couple of my videos, I, I use different ways of composting. Um, and so I'm going to use various things here. So again, this is just real simple. This is something as simple as your paper that you shred. Shredding paper is great. It breaks down very well. So I'm going to put a little layer of that here. And then I'm going to finish my mulching with some straw and you want to use about maybe four inches of mulch on top of your garlic now the reason you want to have so much mulch is very for different reasons the first most importantly is to keep that soil moist and and also will help with not allowing that to freeze and um, secondly more importantly is that mulch will will act as a barrier to help uh, keep your uh, weeds out over the time that uh, your garlic is developing and growing so just as long as you're not finding something that's packing down you can use uh, green the greens from uh, say mowing your lawn you can also use uh, leaves that you mulch up i'm using straw because i have that available so four maybe four inches or so on your mulching and make sure you water very well the first time and for sure don't forget to label okay label your uh, garlic on what you're planting there <laughs> so in uh, three months from now and when your spring or four months from now when spring time comes that you you're not really sure what's going on in, in this and you kind of forget um, also the different varieties that we planted today you will we'll have an experiment to decide on uh, what is the proper um, methods, I'm sorry, the, the different types of uh, garlic that you're using, whether it's a uh, store-bought organic or uh, maybe you buy something from a seed shop and if there's any differences between those. So um, that's it. Pretty much you just leave it for the next couple of months. In the spring, you'll start noticing that it starts to sprout up a little bit. Just keep, uh, and we'll, we'll do another video on how that is progressing over the time uh, that you are going to be watching these videos so i if you have um not tried garlic i think this is an excellent way and that's basically all it takes to plant and grow garlic i have a few videos that i'll post in the comments below these are things on how you can harvest garlic and also how to plant them and uh, it's important for you to know how to cure them properly so that they'll store and they'll store up to nine months to a year now as i promised some of the common mistakes first-time gardeners make. Planting garlic in a shaded area can be a problem. So you want to make sure that you plant in a sunny area. Keep in mind that the sun will change in the different parts of the year. So what your, where your sun is now is not necessarily where your sun is at the uh, end of your uh, or spring time season when you're ready to start harvesting your uh, garlic around May or June or in some places July. Another common mistake is not selecting the largest cloves. So if you plant the smaller clove, that will produce a smaller bulb. So always choose the largest clove from your bulb. Now, another common mistake that people will make is when they have the cloves, they'll peel all of this white paper off. And you don't wanna do that and expose the clove when you're planting. Now that's great for cooking, but not for planting. That could lead to the garlic clove rotting in the ground. Now as a bonus tip, you can grow garlic in containers. They don't all ha always have to be in the ground. You can put three to four cloves in a five gallon bucket and they grow just great. Now some people will soak the cloves before planting to prevent any fungal or bacterial issues. Uh, while they're in the ground, but I don't usually do this personally, so uh, that's up to you if you want to do that. 
Well, thanks again for watching, and I hope you learned something about garlic today. And if you did, put a comment below on what you learned, what was the most important thing for you with your garlic season. I'd like to know the varieties of garlic that you are planting this year, and if there has been success and some failures too. So people ask, do I buy grocery store garlic and plant that, or do I use the uh, internet and buy garlic cloves from different uh, providers uh, that, that have the garlic clove seeds? Uh, I do both, but I tend to buy most of my garlic at the grocery store. I'll gr grow the uh, organic type of garlic, and I will also use the garlic that I had from last year and plant some of the larger cloves for this year. So there's your answer on what I use personally. I've had good success for, with everything pretty much. The store bought, the, the ones that I buy on the internet from uh, the different stores, and then also from the grocery store too. So, um, and the ones that I have always produce uh, each year. So thanks for watching again. And uh, if you have any uh, comments below, uh, put those down and I would appreciate a like on this video. Thank you. Until next time, happy gardening.